Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've recently encountered the strange issue of seeing iPhone is findable on your screen, but your phone won't turn on, won't boot up, and is essentially stuck, don't panic, your iPhone isn't dead. Many users face this problem where the device shows this message and fails to turn on, but in most cases, it's just a software glitch rather than a hardware failure. This issue can often happen after a system update or crash, leaving the phone in a non-responsive state. Fortunately, it's usually an easy fix and most solutions work quickly and effectively. To start, let's break down what's happening. The message, iPhone is findable, typically appears when your device is powered off, but still trackable through Find My. This is a safety feature that ensures your phone remains detectable even when it's off, helping with locating it in case of theft or loss. However, after an update or system crash, it's possible for the phone to become stuck on this screen, unable to turn back on. The good news is that this is usually a software issue that can be resolved with a few simple steps. The first solution to try is a force restart. This is not the same as a regular restart as it forces the iOS system to reload and can help resolve various glitches. To perform a force restart, follow these steps, press and release the volume up button. Press and release the volume down button. Press and hold the power button. Keep holding the power button even when the screen goes black. Continue holding until you see the Apple logo. In most cases, your iPhone should boot up normally after this. If this method works, great. If not, don't worry. There are other solutions to try. Another common cause for this issue is that the phone may appear off, but actually have a completely drained battery. If this is the case, follow these steps. Plug your iPhone into a wall charger using a certified cable. Allow it to charge for at least 15, 20 minutes. If the battery is deeply drained, it may take some time for the phone to show any sign of life. After a few minutes of charging, try performing the force restart again while the phone is connected to the charger. If you're using a cheap third-party charging cable or an old adapter, it's worth noting that these may not provide the power your iPhone needs to boot up properly. In some cases, this can cause the device to appear dead when it's actually just not receiving enough power. Try switching to a different certified charging cable, a different charging brick, and or a different power outlet. Many users who think their iPhone is dead later find that the issue was related to the charger and not the phone itself. If none of these solutions work, the next step is to put your iPhone into recovery mode. To do this, connect your iPhone to a Mac or PC. Open Finder uh, on Mac or iTunes on Windows. Perform the force restart steps again. Volume up, volume down, hold power. But this time, continue holding the power button until you see the recovery mode screen. Once your iPhone enters recovery mode, you will be presented with two options, update or restore. Choose update first, as this will attempt to fix the system without deleting your data. Let the process finish, and your phone should boot up normally once the update installs. If recovery mode doesn't work, the final step is DFFU device firmware update mode. This is a more in-depth method that refreshes the device's firmware and can resolve stubborn software issues. However, keep in mind that DFU mode will erase all your data if you haven't backed up your phone, so only attempt this as a last resort. To enter DFU mode, you'll need to connect your phone to a computer and follow specific instructions for your iPhone model to force it into DFU mode. Once in DFU mode, you can restore your iPhone to its factory settings, which should clear the issue. Though, again, be aware that this will delete all data if you haven't backed up. One of these steps should help you resolve the iPhone is findable issue and get your phone back to normal. Whether it's a force restart, charging the battery, or using recovery mode, these are the most common fixes. If this guide helped you, be sure to like, subscribe, and share in the comments which step worked for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.